Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought today that we could do a little bit different of a daily grind video and I'd show you how I fill out my daily pages and how I use them. So first I will say I already decorated this and I spent a little time doodling today. It felt like the right thing to do. So this is what we have. I think it's so cute, but this is my daily goal setting planner. It's from Daily Grind. I've got afternoon coffee here and a nice midday candle also from daily grind but let me show you i haven't checked anything off from yesterday either so i thought i'd show you all of this this is how i am filling it out this month this is the new daily grind sheets they're updated from the previous one so if you haven't seen them this is what they look like um so this is what my month ahead page looks like and here are the new week ahead pages, which are separated from um, the week in review. Instead of being half pages, they're full pages, which I love. But this is how it looks. I haven't been very decorative this week because I've just been so busy. Let's go ahead and check these off and fill this out for today. It is about noon and it's been a busy day, so I haven't filled any of this out yet. So usually I fill it out the night before or first thing in the morning, but that just didn't happen today. <laughs> All right, so I did have my lights out by 10 last night. I did do squats, did have a veggie snack, I'm trying to eat more vegetables. I've been eating not great. <laughs> tidied before bed. I continued cleaning up the basement. Um, that's where I am right now. It's my crafty space and a shared kids play space. And I've gotten a lot of happy mail this last week. So I had a lot to organize and boxes to tear down and things like that. I did film and post my happy planner unboxing for the teacher release. I did not finish my newest item that I'm working on for Etsy, but I worked on it, so I'm putting the almost. I hope to finish that today. I didn't do that. I did read, and I did get outside. It's been so lovely lately. So every time I fill out my planner, I check in on these things and remember what I need to move on to. Then also, I did those, and these I'll move over to Maybe today, maybe another day, we'll see. Okay, so waking refreshed, instead of a sleep goal for how much sleep I wanna get, I wanna get back to a place where I'm waking up and I'm awake. Being a mom of two young kids, I don't wake up very refreshed very often. So I'm trying to do things that can help me do that. So tonight I am going to read with calming tea before bed. And every day I choose something that I want to focus on that might be a little bit different. So sometimes it's lights out by 10, sometimes it's how I can focus in the evening to get to bed nicely, and other times it's gonna be first thing in the morning stretching or getting outside pretty quickly to you know, breathe in the fresh air and all of that. Um, so different things. And then move body. I'm trying to either walk or do squats, you know, floor exercises, things like that um, a lot just to be more intentional about my movement. Today, I already did walk to and from um, mom and dad's and I dropped off my daughter at a play date with Grammy. Um, and it's about a mile each way. So that was a nice walk. Extra veggies, I'll have an afternoon snack of veggies instead of something sweet. I'm just gonna write veggie tray. Just get a bunch of different vegetables and a little dip and call it good. <laughs> All right, reset main floor. I've already done that today, so tidy entryway. My son has gotten into pulling everything out of the shoe rack, and I have to clean it up every single day. Um, but uh, I did that, so hopefully we'll be able to keep it under control for the rest of the day. 
um, work on declutter. I think we're going to skip that today because um, we've got a sitter as well today and I'm trying to get a lot done um, in this planner and Etsy world and things like that. So let me find some white out really quick. All right, so this is what I do. If there's a goal that I'm not gonna work on for the day, I white out the little line and then draw a new line from the item that I'm gonna work on on multiple places. So like this one, I can work on my YouTube goals on both spots today. So by the way, these I printed out and then pasted in. They are a Canva template that I created and I have it linked down below. If you wanna sign up for my email list, you'll get the Canva template free of charge. You just need a free Canva account. You can type in your goals and then I just cut out this part on label paper and just stick it in um, so that I don't have to write it out every single day. So that's pretty cool. But so I'm going to do working on YouTube for two things. So this one can be film three videos and then it can be edit the three videos. I don't always do them in the same day, but I can do that both and then I'm set for the whole next week. All right, for 12 new Etsy items, I want to finish my year of trackers document. I'm not sure what to call it yet, but every month I put out a document with mood trackers, habit trackers, workout logs, gratitude logs, like so many different things. And, um, I've just completed making 12 months of them. So I'm putting them together into one whole year in case someone wanted to get that instead of uh, purchasing month by month. So I'm going to work on that today. This is my planner check-in. So I can also just do film DGP video because that's what we're doing right here, doing a planner check-in. So I'll check that off. Um, read two books for the month. So right now I just finished Akatar the third book. And so I started the fourth book and I read during lunch today. I will also read again tonight, but I've completed this task. Okay, and then daily self-care. Just today we have a sitter and I'm taking things slow. So for self-care, we can just call it like a relaxing day or... I guess we can just say sitter today <laughs> and she's already here. So that's what we'll put there. Okay. So that's how I look at my goals and choose little pieces to move the needle, um, to whatever my goals are. And then to feel amazing, we're going to write in some of the things that I've already put up here, but some other things too. read yummy drinks. candle because <laughs> it smells so good um hydrate and get out in the sun all right so we've got those the top three movers today i love to fill out the three things that i think are going to make me feel the most fulfilled at the end of the day make me feel like it was a good day and a productive day and whatever I'm needing. So today, that is gonna be the walk. I was really needing to get outside and do all that. Um, and then let's do film and Etsy because I'm really feeling productive, especially since I have this afternoon to do things. I think that's going to be great. All right, and then so I put things here so I'm gonna put down the play date and then our sitter from 12 to 6 all right so then don't forget are things that I need to do so 
I'm just going to write down the things that I have over here because I need to remember to do them. I don't know if I'll do them today since today's a relaxing day, but I'll have them here and we'll know to move them over later. Um, something else I could do later, maybe, <laughs> is fold laundry. It's all in the dryer right now. And I'll just add things to it as I come up with other things that I need to do that I'm not going to do in that moment. And then I just kind of list them here and keep moving them over until I've completed them. All right, and then grateful and excited for, let's say, summer because it's finally like sunny and warm out. I actually got hot while walking today. That was awesome. Um, other things that I'm grateful for are my coffee <laughs> and my husband because our 10 year anniversary is this month and that's wild. So anyways, that is how I fill it out each day. I hope it gave you some ideas. Other things that I like to do with this are if I don't have a ton of tasks, sometimes I cover all this up. What I'll do is take some of the label paper, just white piece of paper and cover it up and then put decorative stickers on it to make like a little decorated area. And that's really cute. Um, I also like to use this section and time block. So if I'm trying to do different things like home tasks, computer tasks, you know, things like that, I will time block different areas of the day so that I know how to focus in order to get multiple different areas um, completed. <laughs> so yeah, that's an additional two ideas for you. Anyways, I hope that helped and gave you some ideas for how to fill out your planner. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check down below for that link if you're interested in this. And oh, if you ever choose to purchase from Daily Grind Planner, you can always use code Amy Plans Things to save 10%. And it helps me out at no extra cost to you. So thank you. All right. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.